My name is Polly Miller. My project is PK Projection to support museum visits. I started working on this project almost a year ago now, just at the beginning of my third year. It's coming up to the end of my year now. I chose this project mainly because of the PK Projector. It sounded really interesting and really I just love seeing what I can do with it. The PK Projector is a small handheld projector, a lot like the ones you would get in school. It works using lasers to produce some really high detailed images. My project uses the projector mainly to show well, kids primarily how an ancient Egyptian musical instrument would have well, looked. They can use the phone to produce an action like shaking it or tapping it and it will come up with the relevant instrument. It's like remote wipers is the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm Simon. So the project is Education Through Sonification. I wanted an industrial project and this one is working for a local company called Learn Through Music. So and out of the options available, this was the best option I think. So it's a really fun one, great resources from the company and it's proved very fun and interesting to complete. Yeah. Um, so I started about mid-summer doing the research for the project and then I kind of worked on it from that, so it's been about a year in total, just a bit later. So it, the aim is to enable kids to learn through the use of music. So they provide 55 songs, so the aim is to learn the songs and they'll be able to sing them back to prove that you've actually learned the song and to prove that you're learning through the use of the application. So it uses voice recognition and string comparison. To okay, so this is the main screen of the application. You have three options to listen to a chosen song, to sing along to a chosen song, and to compare results with previous attempts or that song. So if we try and listen to a song, we click on that option. It downloads the songs available from the server. And if you click on chosen song, let's say Macbeth, it plays the songs and shows the lyrics in a karaoke-like style. So once the lyrics are displayed, it's highlighted in dark blue. So you can see, I think it's a very fun way of um, learning. I, I wish when I was doing GTS as I learned this way, because it, it's a lot more fun than what I had. So it literally will pick it out and say, this is this, in the scene. But, um... Yeah, I'm, hi, I'm Matt. I'm, this is my project, uh, Swansea Studio's Time Label Android application. I thought, as from a student point of view, what would be useful to me on an Android phone. Android was something, something that everyone's interested in, so I thought we'd design an application that's useful to the students and I can learn Android at the same time. I created it myself. Yeah, I created it. Ironically, it was on the bus because I missed the previous bus and I was really annoyed because I tried to get a train station for a particular train and I missed it. So I thought it would be really good if I had like an application for this. And I also thought of the fact with the taxi numbers as well, how much useful that is for people for, like student needs when students go out and socialise and stuff. Just can't get a taxi number, so it'd be so much better to have like a list on a phone they can save, use for reference date, or just show someone. So that's why I thought I'd incorporate taxi numbers and I'd incorporate a list of other useful contacts for like local transport operators. For instance, if they go to first grade wrestling, they can either call it or visit the website and then they can check their times, either ring if they've got any questions, book their tickets, do whatever. So, so I think it's pretty um, beneficial from a student's point of view.